Just like the thumbnail says, we've got another video showing you how to get easy shinies in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So in today's video, we have another isolated encounter shiny hunt for you. It's going to be an easy one for you to do, and it's going to be all around getting the brand new pseudo legendary Frizzy Backs so you can get that shiny Backscalibur in your copy of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So once you're in game, what you are going to want to do is head up to the Glissado Mountain area. Yes, the Glissado Mountain area. And it is this area right here. Um, if you haven't got the save point yet, you will want to head to this point. Pokemon Center right here on your map. I'll try and zoom out a little too much. But it is just to the west of Montenavera. So if you fly here, and it is that fly point that we're wanting to head to. Like I say, some of you might have not visited this area before, so that's why I'm saying this fly point, and we're not flying directly to it. So if we get a map open, we can just mark it, it's set as destination. That's what we want to do. From the Pokemon Center, you want to just head down this hill here, and you will see a huge, big, spike ice spikes sticking out the ground and that's where we want to head to once you visit this i was going to say speak to the sign but once you kind of just see the sign press a on it read it read it like a normal person would then it will become a fly point for you to to come to in the future now you're going to want to stand around kind of just to the side of this big boulder here so once you're all leveled up and ready to go the first thing to do is always when you're doing this process is just drop a save make sure your auto saves are off as well because you don't want to set this all up and waste half an hour and waste your herba mystic because there's no guarantee that you're going to get a shiny likelihood is you will get a shiny uh, but the rng can play games with us at times so just make sure you save if you don't get the shiny in the first run then you can just reset and use another shiny and have another go at it so you're not wasting any of these really difficult to get resources so the sandwich that we are going to make is going to be for a dragon encounter sandwich to do the very simple one avocado and then a salty and a spicy herba mystica obviously i will put an overlay on the screen as well for other recipes and a link in the description which will give you an array of different recipes if you want to use different herba mystica with your sandwich recipes to have you know more ingredients to just use different herba mysticas if you don't specifically have the ones needed that I'm using in this video. There we go. This should give us that level three sparkling power and encounter power for dragon with the title power as well. Now we've got it set up. All we want to do is just hang about because all we're going to see spawning in is going to be these frizzy batches. And if you watched our tad bulb video, you will know that there is an additional zoom function that you can use to further zoom so you've got a better view of things and you can just double tap your home menu if you want to do that and you can just have a little bit of a better zoom and you're going to be able to easier spot the shiny when it does spawn in now obviously because it is darker it is going to make it a little more tricky to spot but it isn't a difficult shiny to see it is going to stand out like a sore thumb against the normal frizzy backs that you're going to see in this area so you don't necessarily need your camera on at all. If you're wanting to know the zoom function for this, then all you want to do is hit your home menu, come down into system settings, down into system, and then find the zoom function here in your system settings and just make sure that it's on. So when you're in game, the best way to use it if you really want to zoom in a lot is just set your camera up like this and then double tap your home menu with that on, you're gonna be able to zoom in extra further than you would normally, and you'll be able to kind of spot if any of them are shiny. Obviously the shiny frizzy backs has pink tassels of its hand, and that's what we're kind of looking for, although it will be a completely different color anyway. So once they've all spawned in, you think, well, oh, there's no more spawning in at this point, then we do the old standard, set your picnic up, despawn everything that is on the field right now, and then we just take our picnic down and watch them all spawn back in again and uh, it is just that simple like we've done for many other shiny hunts for these isolated encounters but this one's quite a special one because it is for pseudo legendary now we have covered the ones for where you can get uh, Larvitar and Bagon as well on the channel but I just feel like because this is a new 
Pokemon to Scarlet and Violet it is a really nice one to do and probably one that like a lot of you will want to hunt as well so this is quite a nice one to do what you can do because you're going to see there's a little dip here in the area where we're looking on to if you want to just come up onto this area here where it's a bit more raised it is going to give you a better view so you're going to be able to kind of see at least all of the different frizzy backs that are spawning in and then you can just get your zoom on and just make sure that you are double checking them all see if any of them are shiny and it doesn't look like any of these ones are so again we just want to rinse and repeat the method that we were doing and um, try and get that shiny to spawn as quick as we can within this 30 minutes it's worth noting as well if you don't have access to five star or six star raids yet you could still probably do this method with no trouble with just encounter power level two obviously it will take a bit longer because you haven't got those increased shiny chances yet and i think is that the shiny there i don't know if it is but it might be i don't think it is no you're not shiny are you my friend you are shiny you are the shiny one there we are we've got the shiny i thought it was a little different blue so it is just worth checking sometimes double check if you're unsure but there is the shiny frizzy backs and he looks great so perfect i'm so happy that we've actually managed to get it and in really good time as well let's see this hasn't taken long at all now like i say it might take a bit longer for you to get it you might get it a bit sooner than me of course but the point is this is how you get frizzy backs in your game shiny and like i was saying if you do oh we've got to get it in a blue dive ball i don't know if we'll be able to get it can we get that critical catch we do so uh, we would have caught it anyway um but yeah like i say if you haven't got access to sparkling power then you can still come and do this if you you're still part way through your playthrough and just use encounter power level two with ingredients that you'll be able to pick up throughout your playthrough and there you go we can see that we've got that beautiful shiny frizzy backs and this one's quite a nice one for me personally because i have tried to get it from mass outbreaks a couple of times and never had any success with getting it because i had issues with the clock ticking over and then losing the outbreak and then other things to do so um it's nice to be able to finally get it and just to be able to show that this method works where it's going to be somewhere where you are going to be able to come if you would like to try and hunt this Pokemon and hopefully it'll have a lot of success with it as well. And that's it, the last roll of the dice there and no second shiny Frizzy Backs, but we did manage to get the one. Now when you do have your Frizzy Backs, it does evolve into Artabacks at level 35, I believe. So let's see if we can just, actually we can just level it up one level because it's high enough so and then it will evolve into Baxcalibur at level 54. Octobax is the second evolution that evolves from Frizzybax. Level 54 it evolves into Baxcalibur which is great and it's such a nice shiny. It's quite a subtle one but like not as subtle as your Gengars or your Garchomps that you're going to see. But great looking final evolution shiny. Really love it. Baxcalibur is a great Pokemon to have. And there you go. So that is the guide for you. You know where exactly to come in the Glacido Mountain. You're going to get that fly spot. You're going to set up your picnics. Make your sandwich with your Herba Mystica to get that Dragon Encounter power and the Sparkling power. And then just set up your picnic and set it down and watch the spawns come in and out until you do get that shiny. I would recommend using the zoom function as well. Well, like we talked about in this video it'll make just spotting it a lot easier good luck getting this shiny if you found this video useful please drop a like and if you're new to the channel subscribe so you stay up to date with all of our pokemon scarlet and violet content thank you for tuning in take care of yourselves and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye